Okay, here we are out in the garden. It's uh, late in May 2013, and we're just starting to do a little harvesting of some of the crops here. Uh, these are some of the tomatoes over here, tomato plants, and I uh, just wanted to show folks the garden because it came out really well. This year, I made some changes. I built some uh, uh, garden boxes. Uh, I'm still here. This is my older garden and uh, I'm still planting directly into the ground. Here we have some tomatoes and uh, there was uh, some cantaloupe down there getting ready to vine out and some satsuma orange tree and another one over here. The reason I had to plant that one is because my older one died off. It had some of the best satsuma oranges in the world. I mean they're absolutely delicious so I just had to plant uh, uh, two more. I was really sorry to see that plant die. I mean that tree die. It was beautiful. Over here is my Asian pear tree. Planted him about five, six years ago. Uh, you know how pricey Asian pears are at the store. And uh, so, and I love them. So I wanted to have my own. Uh, we got a few on there. A few smaller ones on there right now. Coming into fruition, I guess you could call it. I love Asian pears. They're, like I said, they're about, about $3 a piece at the store. Something like that. Alright, coming around here to my box garden. Yesterday I harvested up a bunch of, of uh, garlic out of here and we got a Quite a bit of garlic out from uh, from this past that I planted this past uh, fall, and over here is the remaining of the onions. Um, here we've got uh, I took some of the cauliflower, no, not cauliflower, but the uh, collard greens that I have planted uh, over the fall, and when I harvest them, I found that I could just uh, replant the uh, stalks, and uh, they would regrow. And this is what we have here. We got nice growth here on these small um, cauliflower. I keep calling it cauliflower, but the uh, collard greens. And over in here, we've got uh, my tomato potatoes growing in plastic containers. They're doing pretty well. You got to wash to make sure they don't come up out of the ground. These potatoes, and then you got you know keep them well covered up. So the sun doesn't get them. I understand that they uh, develop some type of, type of toxin. Over here, my bell peppers doing very, very nicely. Very, very nicely. I don't know if you can get a shot of. Let me go on a harvest that guy here. He's pretty big. Let me get him out of here. Um. Yeah, this guy. He's a nice size. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. That's real nice. I got him behind the netting. Got him in my box got him behind the bird net. That's very nice. So we've got quite a few of those. In fact, here's another one I probably need to go on and harvest. See, let me go underneath the netting, and as you can see there, <laughs> they're all over the place. <laughs> this year, I used some 50 50 mixture of uh, mushroom compost, and believe me, it made all the difference in the world. I have gotten a tremendous crop of collard greens and mustard greens, uh, bell peppers, as you can see here, and uh. You might want to give that a try with the uh, with the uh, mushroom compost. Very good. 
All right, let me grab these guys. Oh, excuse me. And I see we have plenty more. Plenty more there. Really, really nice. I'm really proud of how they came out. Oh, there's some real nice, big, juicy ones over there. And then over here, we got more, more bear peppers. Um, coming around this side, my tomatoes. Uh, I've harvested a few of them, about three, four so far. Over here, my cucumber bed. Check this out. Take a look at this cucumber. We can get through the netting. Take a look at that boy. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Nothing like eating your own food. This junk they sell in the stores and this junk that the guard the government pushes on us. So I'm gonna go on and harvest him. He's starting to turn a little yellow. I think he's ready to come up out of here. Look at the size of that boy. That's nice. He's about, gosh, 12, about nice 12 inches. That's good. Cool. Very good. Okay, let's go on around the other side. Collect my harvest here. Ah. I'm dropping them. Okay. I built this uh, enclosure out of uh, PVC and some uh, cord and uh, it's worked out pretty nicely. We're going to have kind of a breezy day today. It's done a good job of keeping the birds out. Uh, caught a couple of squirrels in here a couple of times and uh, let them out of here. Here my cucumbers again. And over here we've got uh, cantaloupe. Ah, there's a little baby cantaloupe coming up. See if we can take a look at him. See him? See him right there? Ah, little baby cantaloupe. I mean, not, these are, uh, uh, actually these are honeydew melons. I planted some honeydew melon seeds. And, uh, They're really doing well. Let me set some of these bell peppers down. Okay. So this is what I've harvested so far this morning. Uh, a couple of onions. I mean onions. Where's my where's my wording today? Uh, tomatoes. And I'm pulling them up as soon as they start to turn. Uh, red show any sign of red I pull them up because the little critters have a tendency to want to get to them before I can all right over here going back here to the honeydew melon see whether we have any more little bulbs on the ground yeah I plant these from seed and uh, it looks like we're gonna be having some honeydew I don't see any more, but I know that there's some in here somewhere. Um, yeah. So I'm proud of my little garden, and I'd certainly encourage everybody to plant your own garden and eat your own food. This mess that is coming out of these markets and the pharmaceuticals and big business, you know, they don't give a darn about you, your health. They're worried about making money. So, I just want to show off my little garden. Hope you uh, enjoyed this little video. And uh, as time goes on, I'll, I'll make some more and download. Uh, kind of hot and humid down here in Florida. And... Uh, so if you hear me breathing, 
kind of hard. Well, it's kind of sticky. But anyway, that's Florida weather. All right, you guys, take care and happy gardening.